Hello friends and followers, I'm Angel May back and welcome again to my channel. So don't forget to subscribe and follow me. So subscribe me here in uh, YouTube channel and also um, follow me on my other social media such as Instagram, which is also my username is Angel Mayan. And also um, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter will be Coach Angel Beck. So today we are going to talk about... Um, plantar fasciitis so it's kind of common here in the united states um for sure also in other country also but sometimes maybe some don't know that's already plantar fasciitis that they're feeling so um maybe they're just thinking that it's just a normal foot um problem um and inflammation but it's called plantar fasciitis because it's it's bottom of our foot um so it's gonna be um, it's a uh, inflamed tissue um, that is the tissue that connects from your heel um, going to the toes. So the bottom of your foot, usually you feel the inflamed and burns and it pains, especially when you walk on it. And, um, you know, um, and, 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 and there's a lot of uh, factors why you feel that way and why is it that um, uh, you're experiencing that. But... Um, we are talking about this right now. It's because there's a person requesting exercise um, for the plantar fasciitis, okay? Basically, it's going to be a stretching um, for that problem. But before we do that, we need to know first what's, um, what it is and, and where is it coming from and why you're having that. So usually it's a um, bit repetitive trauma. For example, you keep jumping and you don't have a good support on your foot or good shoes and you keep uh, jumping hard and the impact is too much for your heel, then that will cause on that for that too. Also bad, bad shoes. Um, you know, you need also to consider that. Now, if, you, you're, if you're exper experiencing pain on your foot, you need also to consider um, change shoes, okay? Sometimes it's not just plantar fasciitis. It's just that maybe normal um, foot problem because you're uncomfortable with your shoes or your foot doesn't, um, doesn't have a good support or, you know, um, you have a flat foot, you don't have a good arch and... Um, so usually better to have a good shoes to support and help your foot, especially if you are a runner and you, if you like walking, going for trailing, usually you need to go to store that specialize in that, that they customize shoes for you, that they measure your foot. Um, if you're, if you're, if your foot is turning out, turning in, you know, something like that. Um, because it's case to case basis. Sometimes you can just say, "Oh, I'll buy this specific brand because it's 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 better for the foot," but you'll never know because it really depends on on a, on a specific person. Okay, there's no such thing as brand, but though yes, yeah, some brands um are really uh foot friendly friendly, but not everybody their foot is is the same another also reason why um there's a plantar fasciitis especially if your job is keep on standing especially if you're working in a restaurant or or a, or a sales lady okay so if you notice because the impact is there you're from standing and then when you sit down and relax and then when you get up um it it hurts or after resting for a long time like sleeping um, all night and then in the morning it hurts okay and also another is how to help and minimize the plantar fasciitis aside from exercising is um, of course um, if you don't have the shoes to support to help you go find an inserts you know the like um, that you can put under your shoes so that there's a support or a caution okay that's you call that inserts for the shoes and also um ice okay so you need to rest your foot also as possible avoid walking or um avoid um standing too much 
I know, especially if it's it's hard, especially if your job, you know, if that's your job. But as possible, then um, rest it and put ice. Plantar fasciitis, you can cure that, of course, because I experienced that. Because, you know, my job, I'm a, I'm a fitness instructor, trainer also. And I teach a lot of classes, especially high impact class like jumping. So I experienced that for a while. And um, the time, now it's not anymore. I noticed that specific foot uh, footwear that I wear, it doesn't get along. Like if I wear the specific shoes, I will feel it. Especially if my class is jumping. Before younger days, no, I don't. Because I always just, I always just buy shoes specifically for fashion purpose but now i mean you know it's it's not anymore it depends on my class depends on my class what will i wear but um you just um observe first observe okay but whether you change your shoes whether you stretch whether um you do a lot of stuff and still it, it, it it's in so much pain i guess you need to go to the doctor already okay because you'll never know it maybe it's not any more plantar fasciitis okay so maybe you have um you broke something or or um uh dislocate something or probably bone spurs so there's a lot of factors but anyway um for the pl plantar fasciitis um also there's also um if it's confirmed that it's plantar fasciitis then you go for a um you know there they your doctor for sure will give you some treatments um you know for the un, un, anti inflame you know maybe a cream or you know whatsoever but i'm not a doctor so i'm not going to say that but for the for the stretching you need to stretch your shoes all the time uh, your 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 foot all the time um as possible every day okay you need to um do um as possible do it every day and um again wear a good support okay so now i'm gonna give you some exercises or stretching for your plantar fasciitis so here are the stretches or exercise that you can do at home okay while while you're recovering or trying to recover from from plantar fasciitis okay so i'm we are we need a chair okay um or a wall doesn't matter okay so for example you have a chair here so for example you see the bottom of the chair there's a elevated area there not necessarily a chair okay or if you have a block put a blocks there okay then press you press your heel you press your heel down so you will feel the stretch here in the calves, okay? So you press the heel down, you hold it there, okay? You hold it there for 30 seconds to a minute, okay? And if you can do this every day and twice a day, three times a day, then better, okay? You just keep holding that. Okay, so you need to stretch your calves there. Next, also, if you have a towel, okay? Now, if you have a towel, this is not a towel, this is a band, okay? Now, it doesn't matter as long as it gives you, um, you know, it helps you to stretch. Now, you need to remove your shoes. Now, you need to press like that. So, basically, you're going to feel your calves there. And you like, you pull, you pull your toes towards you. Okay, you press your heel okay so it's just like the standing one that you press your heel against um you press your heel against the floor while elevating your toes but this one is with a towel or a band okay now if you don't have that then massage okay just massage point flex point flex okay now another one is Another practice that you can do is get a paper, put it down, 
okay so now this is gonna be a practice for your toes to uh, point and flex so for example you place your foot there and you pick up the towel or paper okay and fold your toes towards you as you notice that so basically you're exercising your toes there uh, pointing down okay like that as possible point okay point it so those are the example of exercise okay now so after you exercise after you exercise guys um you know you relax your foot and you uh, put an ice in your foot to relax now if you have a wall you can also use the wall to stretch your calves okay instead of pressing your heel against the floor while elevating your toes you can use you can use the the wall okay i don't know how we will do this but hold on okay let's just say let's just say that wall there So that's also you can do with wall, okay? So again, guys, um, when you exercise your foot, basically it's a stretching. Um, it's it's a static stretch, which is not no. It's like it's like hold and prolong because you're trying to stretch. You're trying to heal the the the, the tissue there. Okay, so it's not, it shouldn't be high impact. It shouldn't be jumping. It shouldn't be um, intense, okay? You just need to, you just have to stretch it, okay? And then it takes six to six to 12 months um, to heal it. Um, but for sure, it especially for those who are really chronic or really bad, um, some also may need a surgery, but hopefully not. Hopefully not in your case. But um, when you feel it's just started, then you know it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be quick for you to recover on that. Um, you know, it's it's just a matter of how you take care of yourself. If you start feeling it, then start the, the process. Start um, stretching, putting ice. Okay, put inserts in your foot, in your shoes. If you don't have money to buy this uh, special shoes, put inserts. Okay, to, to give a support and cushion. Now, you know, if you can afford, then get you a new shoes that gives you a good support. All right. Um, again, stretch well. Do it every day. Do not try to skip, even if no matter how busy you are. All right. Avoid high impact workout. Avoid jogging. Avoid walking. Um and also standing too much. Now, if it's if it's your job, you cannot help it, then put an insert on your shoes. When you get home, immediately put ice, elevate your leg, and start the exercise and stretch, okay? So anyway, guys, hope that helps, and hope I answered the question. Thank you again for the question and for trusting me. But anyway, guys, you have a great day. Don't forget again to subscribe, hit the subscribe button, and also follow me with my other social medias. Instagram, again, Instagram is Angel Mayan, same as the YouTube channel. For Twitter, TikTok, and Facebook, it would be Coach Angel Beck. 
Okay, guys, thank you and have a great day.